Yeah, just two days to go till the Super Bowl gets underway here in South Florida and the stars are starting to come into town and arguably none bigger than this man stood next to me, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, happy to be here in town? Uh, man, it's truly a blessing. Of course, you know, Super Bowl comes come once a year. All the great people come out from all over the world uh, to support um, uh, two of the best teams in the, in the NFL. So, you know, I'm happy to be here and... Uh, it's great. What else can I say? A lot of talk now, obviously, about your fight with Shane Mosley at the MGM oh, yes. coming up. How excited are you about that? Uh, you know, very excited. You know, I take, you know, take one day at a time and just, um, you know, hang out with my team, go over the game plan and uh, just get ready and to prepare to go in camp. Obviously, you've both had disrupted plans with previously arranged fights. Who's oh. going to be in the better shape for this fight? Oh, I can't say what, what type of shape um, Shane's going to be in, but of course, I'm going I'm to come in top condition and he, he, pre he looks, you know, pretty, he looks pretty good and condition real, real well in all his fights so um, it should be a, you know a great fight come uh, May 1st. Obviously the drug testing issue was the key thing with the Pacquiao uh, <laughs> fight how are you feeling about that now and now that that's kind of gone away? Well um, you know my, like I said my main focus is uh, just Shane Mosley you know what I'm saying um, I know in a, in a past Shane Mosley you know it w it was you know ha had been caught you know doing steroids I mean using steroids you know steroids was um, found in his, um, his blood but um if he's if he's down with you know taking a, uh, the random drug test, you know I'm with it all the way. Should that be something we now introduce for all fights? Oh, absolutely. I think um, just to clean up the sport of boxing and clean up sports. Period. Sports all over the world. I think it should be just uh, random tested, because you know I've been in the sport for many many years and I, you know I've dominated the, the sport of boxing in in a, in a very very clean way and in a very clean fashion. He says he's taking confidence from the fact there's a rematch clause in the contract. <laughs> what do you got to say back to that? Well, you know, like I said, if he if he says something about a rematch clause in the contract, you know, he's entitled to. You know, I, I didn't know nothing about a rematch clause, but if you get it done uh, the right, the, get it done right the first time, you'll have to worry about the second time. And when you get through this fight, you go for Pacquiao again. Oh, I'm not I'm not focused on nobody but Shane at this particular p particular time. It, could the Pacquiao fight still happen in the future? Would you have to have the same conditions? My main focus is Shane Mosley right now. Okay, and if we look forward to something else in the UK, Ricky Hatton's going to make a comeback. What are your thoughts on Ricky Hatton getting back into boxing? Uh, you know, Ricky Hatton is um, a tough guy, but I think that um, he's been he's been he's been in a lot of tough fights. So I think that now it's time for him to hang it up. You know, going, you know, ballooning up in weight, extremely high, then losing weight. But the fans from UK supports him. He he has a very very strong following, and he's a he's a hell of a fighter. So it's the wrong thing for him to be coming back. I think so because you know he's been in a tough fight with me. I mean, he was in a tough fight with me. He's been in a lot of tough fights, a lot of tough wars, and boxing is wearing tear on the body. Is it difficult those a boxer to know when to stop? Uh, I don't know. I haven't took no punishment, <laughs> so I couldn't tell you that. You know, uh, when, when to will stop. Floyd know when to stop? Uh, I don't know. You know, you know, we still got a lot of fights left. You know, inside of us, so we take one day at a time and see what the, the future holds for Floyd Mayweather. Well, you're looking good at the moment. How, how ready are you? How, how far into your build-up are you? Well, I'm not, I'm not ready at all right at this particular time. You know, I'm out in um, Miami enjoying the Super Bowl and all the festivities, and uh, my team is happy. And, um, of course, at this, you know, coaching my son, Little League basketball team. So, you know, I'm just happy, you know. We take, we take, um, take each day slowly, one by one, and we get to the championship fight. We know you love your NFL. We know you love a, a little bet on the NFL as well. Uh, where's the money's money going for Sunday's game? Uh, it's, it's a toss-up. But um, we know Drew Brees can't play outside that good. Bad weather, you know, Drew Brees lose. But if it's good, you know, Peyton Manning can play in the inside and the outside. And so if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Jr., thank you so much for your thank, time. He's here, you. one of the biggest stars in town, ahead of the Super Bowl on Sunday afternoon. Of course, he's got a big date coming up on May the 1st at the MGM against Shane Mosley.